I'm standing in the hills of Ntungamo. Those people who don't know Ntungamo, it is located in the western Uganda and uh, it is one of the beautiful actually districts that have hilly places. These guys really have a lot of hills on their land. Uh, because of that, I have even stopped my way when I was coming here. I tried to record some of the features that they have, the hills, so that those that are not coming from this side can see how beautiful this area really is. And these are some of of the futures yes i could say that makes uganda a pearl of africa that's not today's topic that i want to ask talk about what i want to talk about today is how have these people managed to keep animals because we have been hearing a lot of questions we have been seeing a lot of queries saying that uh, no you are not supposed to keep animals on hilly or mountainous areas the mountainous areas i'm not talking about areas that you can see when it is very steep when it rains then some people who have constructed their houses in the valleys, then they can get flooding and maybe die because of those floods that usually come. No, I'm talking about gentle sloping areas like the one I'm facing in here as you can see in the background. What type of animals can you keep on such an area? In today's video, we want to talk about different types of land that you can buy or if you have bought what type of livestock keeping can you keep on it guys keep watching as i'll be showing you different photographies of which business can you really do on that farm the types of land i could say someone may decide to do his farming on a hilly land like this one that we are standing in hilly places are really actually challenging if you are not technical enough or if you have not strategized well because it will help you to keep these animals as you can look in the background or if you can see we have cows that are grazing in here and uh, we managed to clear the paddocks that were on the hilly places because these hilly places many times they have nice forage for these animals and uh, it helps them to really benefit from it they are usually nutritious if they are not that much nutritious then it's when it can demand you to do supplementation are you looking at that the cows we are doing here we are trying to do supplementation in the evening when they come back from the grazing it is also very beneficial to them and we want to see profitability and production increasing you can do goats goats will do well on hilly places because for them they are browsers and many cases these hilly places they have those shrubs that they usually want to feed on if you happen to buy your land that is on a hilly area it is very crucial you can put a goat farm there if you can manage to clear it very well to make sure that you leave the shrubs there then it can also help you to keep animals like cows on their dairy on a free range we are talking about someone who is on a free range free range it means you're leaving your animals to roam go look for what they can feed on so that is one of the land if you happen to buy one or if you're planning to buy because in many cases these lands are not that expensive they are not very expensive as such but because of the hilly things eh, people don't like that so you go and buy that you make sure that you're technical enough you can keep your animals very well here on the hilly place number two it is a stony area areas that you buy when they have a lot of stones a lot of rock and what for that i cannot advise you to go and look after dairy cows no at least what i can send you to do is to keep goats as you can see goats work properly on rocky areas but still you have to make sure that even though it is a rocky area it should be having some shrubs for these animals or you can decide to do supplementation as well you can leave them to go and roam eat everything eat their shrubs and what then you can supplement them with mineral blocks you can supplement them with uh, the silage or the fodder in the evening when they come back but you have to be technical enough so don't be there and you say i bought my land but now I don't know how I'm going to use it because it is rocky animals don't like rocks who told you that goats will work properly if you go to certain countries like South Africa certain countries like uh, Liberia they are so lucky they are somehow lucky they end up 
doing goats and their goats are doing well eh? supplementation is the game changer if you can do supplementation for them because what we want to see at the end of the day is muscles so if your goat get satisfied well if they go in the field and they, they get satisfied then there's no need for supplementation but if you see that we are heading to dry season and that uh, pastures really reduce and your goats no longer get enough feeds then you can do the supplementation for them give them water i'm assuring you they are going to work very very well another type of land that is wetlands ah wetland you have to be very technical for me my advice if someone brings a land for buying i have to look at those aspects a wetland will help you to provide with water you can get water and you supply what you can do but a wetland in most cases is good for crop production that is the truth but if you want to do animals you have to be strategic that if there is a smaller part for the wetland then the larger part might be a drained place a nice for grazing these animals meaning that the low-lying areas of the wetlands will help you to get water for your projects and this other remaining land it will be used as grazing places or if you decide to do zero grazing that's when you can plant on the drained places then these low lying areas of the wetland are the ones that are going to help you to plant pastures for your animals so it is very essential to do as well that tricky type of land that is the wooded it is it is like a forest many people plant trees do the calyptus and they say no my animals cannot graze in a calyptus forest guys that's not true actually if your spacing of your calyptus was not that bad and it is leaving enough space for the pastures or for the grass as you can see it here then you can leave your animals to go and move in that area if you happen to be having your forest and you may think that that is the only project that you can do to get money from it i would advise you that if you can also buy some animals then you can graze meaning you're making money from the forest as well as making money from the goats yes goats work properly in such because according to the way they feed it is not difficult for them to feed in those forest but still if you can bring in animals to also do because an animal is a grazer it needs something that is cleared well but a goat for it it browses needs browsing all those pastures that are in the forest in the calyptus they can work properly don't sit there and say that i planted my forest so that is the only a uh, source of income that i'm going to get from it no guys you can still put that livestock business in that area and continue fetching money from two projects that is the calyptus and the goat farming so it is also very very essential those ones are mainly focusing on someone who is going to do extensive farming the extensive farming you do free range you're leaving your animals to roam if you happen to buy that land when it is having such features don't leave it there that you cannot do any business these people are doing farming and they are producing milk they are producing various products but they are using their hill areas so don't be there and you say i bought a hill i don't know what can i do on it no you can keep goats you can keep cows on that but still you have to be very critical because such areas they don't have that much pastures needed for the animals meaning supplementation is very essential that is why we try to supplement if they come from the grazing area we supplement their feeds and the project can be moving on very very well we built here a dairy structure and we are also extending it to see that the production of this area is well increased on it as we have seen the excavator that is trying to clear the land we are trying to level to make sure that everything is normal everything goes on well i'm assuring you you are not going to sit with your milk there no make sure that the market is there for it they will buy your milk or you can do value addition 
if you, you see that your milk production is too high and this local market cannot uh, utilize it all, then you do value addition, you do cheese, you do ghee, you do everything that is coming from the milk. That is one of the preservations that you're going to make sure that your products are going to be bought anytime that they need them. I was talking about extensive. For someone who is saying no, I want to do zero grazing. And the advice that I can give you is, for you, you cannot be so picky. Like someone who is buying a hill, who is buying a stony area, who is buying um, a, a wetland. No. For you, make sure that the land that you're going to buy to plant pastures, it is fertile. Say that the produce is high, or you can apply fertilizers. You know the fertilizers came. Even these animals are giving us organic fertilizers. For your case, you're not so picky like someone who is going to do extensive grazing. That is uh, one of the things that I wanted to tell you. If you're planning to buy land, or if you happen to be with land, and you've been asking yourself, really, according to the nature of my land according to the photography can i really do farming livestock keeping can i keep goats can i keep sheep can i keep cattle my answer is yes according to those types of the land that we have talked about yes you can really do it very well and i'm very sure with god's grace you can thrive and your business can be successful don't think that if you have bought a wetland the wetland will only be used for fish production no you can use it for fish, for fish ponds as well as allocate water that will be used in other productions that that farm might be doing so thank you very much thank you for always supporting us if you've been watching till this minute and you haven't subscribed please subscribe and share like so that even your fellow our friends can also benefit from this video thank you may the lord bless you all bye